So, in the factory today, which does not happen ever, um, we have about six people off at the moment. Two are ill, two got injured, and two are away. And we have four kitchens going out next week. And we cannot let our customers down. So it's when, when they're bringing the big guns. I'm joking, I don't know what I'm doing. But I'm a good set of hands. But I'm a good set of hands. You can tell how, how low we are on staff. Because the old man, the guru, the master, my dad, is also in sanding panels somewhere. And let me tell you something, when he comes in, he means business. All right, so we've got three big kitchens going out this week. Um, this one, which is a front frame kitchen, um, as you can see, so we've got all of our frames, it's being hand painted, so everything goes out, um, primed, ready to be done on site. So we assemble, we assemble all the units, um, ready, ready to go out, as you can see. Um, we've, got, we've got two smaller kitchens, so one's pre-assembled, just waiting for the doors to come out of the paint shop. And then we're starting on one more here that will essentially be assembled by the end of the week, hopefully. So down here, this, this is all of our storage area. As you can see, loads of kitchens. Near enough, every pallet's a new kitchen ready to be assembled. Some are half assembled, um, some, are, some are waiting on frontages. Um, and then anything else, you know, all of our appliances that come in, everything gets stored down here before it's taken upstairs or distributed around. So we're currently after a new edge bander, so a technician to run it. So Martin, our factory manager, is currently running it. Um, so it's just one of those that we're juggling a lot through here. Um, and the CNC is running at full whack. Um, you can see we've stacks and stacks of material um, ready to be cut. So again, three, four, five jobs all, all stood up, ready to go. Um, Tristan is working on another front frame kitchen. So what we do here is all of the doors are essentially sized. So we make everything oversized um, and then trim it back so they fit into the frames nice, nice and tightly. So he'll, he'll be working on that before it then gets goes through the edge bander. So we've had a lot of timber jobs coming through. Um, so our timber storage area was a bit of a mess. Um, we used to keep everything on our racks um, pretty much just, just a mess. And we now tried to sort it out all out. And across the back wall here, we've got a huge new racking system going up um, that will essentially be able to store all of our timber that's ready for each job in the rack and make sure it's all nice and tidy. Okay, so we're about to stand up a load of um, our reeded oak doors. Um, the backs are flat, the fronts are reeded, um, and this is our sanding machine that um, will uh, flatten all the fibers as they, as they go through. First thing is we need to check the sizes. 18.6 millimeters thick, and then we come around here, and um, this is the control panel. So we have a veneer program in here, which is for um, standing veneer panels. We dial in the, site, the number and then press so. And that now sets itself, stops, and then it sets itself ready for the right thickness. OK, so it's been through the sander now. Yeah, fantastic, looks great. And that's it, that's as simple as that. All right, so I've knocked in the cams and the dowels for a load of panels now, and now we have to assemble it. So uh, this is a Rayfix system, cam and dowel. The dowel, which is the uh, screw looking bit, comes into here and you lock it off with a screwdriver. So that is now proper solid. It means that some people screw together the carcasses. This is a much more solid way of, uh, of assembling it. All right guys, so you've seen how it's made in the factory. You've seen me behind the scenes working with the guys to get these kitchens pushed out for our clients. I hope you've enjoyed it. So catch you next time.